Welcome to DIY Connected Home. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a Shelly 2.5 Wi-Fi relay switch. These little switches are designed to go in the electrical box behind your existing switch or receptacle. The 2.5 Shelly is a two-channel relay switch meaning that you could control two different items with this one switch here. And today I'm going to show you um, how to set up the Shelly before actually installing it. Uh, as you can see, the Shelly compared to a quarter is quite small, so you won't have any problem installing it into your uh, electrical box. Uh, also, if you're not real familiar with electrical, it's best to have a, a licensed electrician take care of it for you. So what I'm going to do today is show you what I do to prepare one for installation. I found that the easiest thing to do is to buy 14 gauge wiring. This fits into the small ports of the Shelly very nicely. Anything larger than that uh, probably isn't going to fit real well. Uh, each channel is rated at 10 amps, so the 14-gauge uh, wire, the stranded wire, uh, fits perfectly in there. And also, it's a lot more flexible than what the solid wire is. Today, I'm going to be using the black, red, and white. You could also add an additional color if you want, but uh, with these colors here, it'll make it much easier for the installation once you get to the box and... Uh, uh, you're able to identify the wires much easier. If you look closely on the Shelly, you'll notice that each connection is labeled. You have uh, two L's for line in. You have a SW for switch, one on each end. And then you have a place for your neutral wire. And uh, also two connections that go to the, uh, the light fixture or the receptacle. Some of the things, other things you'll need, you'll need a small flathead screwdriver because the ports are very small, so you'll need to make sure that you have one that will fit into the port. You'll need a pair of wire cutters, and you'll need uh, these three port connectors. These make your job a whole lot easier. You could pick them up at uh, uh, some of the big box stores. They work really well. Uh, this particular one is a three port. Uh, you might even need uh, in your installation of it in the wall, you might need to get some two port also. I use the two port. So I do have both of them here with me. So today we're just going to be working with the three port to show you the connections. I'm going to go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way. And the first thing you want to do is you want to get your wiring and you want to cut several pieces. Get them all set up. You want uh, three pieces of the black wire cut approximately five to inches long and then two of them about two and a half inches long. This is where the three port connector will come into play at. You also need one white wire for your neutral wire and uh, these two here will be using from your switch that goes uh, to your light fixture or receptacle. So to start with what we're going to do is we're going to put together the, uh, the connector first. So what we'll do is uh, you want to go ahead and strip your wiring also. The ports on the Shelly are very close together and they're shallow. So you only want to cut about an eighth to a quarter of an inch of the, the casing off with your wire strippers. And uh, these work perfect for fitting into the Shelly connection. Uh, you want to make sure you push them in fully. That way, since the connections are so close together, you don't wind up with any arcing across it. 
So we'll go ahead and we'll tighten this one up first. This will go, this smaller black wires will go into your line. You have one line that powers in and then you'll have your other line that operates your relay. So I've found that the best thing to do is just to go ahead and tie these together. That way you only have one wire that you have to deal with that actually connects into your line in your power line. Uh, you want to tighten these down firmly, but you don't want to over tighten them because they, they can strip out on you. Go ahead and loosen this screw here up. We're going to insert this other small wire. And we'll tighten it up. Remember, firmly but not over tight. So for both of your line wires, it'll be set up like this here. So then what we'll do, this is where we use the three port connector at. Where we have already stripped the wire back, we stripped it back about a half inch. We'll go ahead and pull these off. I'll leave that one on to begin with, but uh, you'll want to push these in firmly. And try to get it all the way in. As you, if you could see, you could see the copper showing through on the tip here. This is the proper way of doing it. You want to make sure it's inserted completely in there. We'll go ahead and do this second one. We'll put it in the middle. There we go. That one's in. And then uh, we're going to take one of the longer wires here. And uh, I need to strip this one back a little bit further. Try to make sure all your wires stay together and that they're tightly together. It'll make it much easier to slide it into the uh, the connection. There we go. So now, this here is uh, the first part of the setup. This wire here will be connected to your line in in your box where your power wires come into the box. So this black wire here will be attached to it. The next one we're going to uh, install will be one of the red lines here. This red line will be going to your fixture. We'll loosen the screw up, and it'll be the same process through the whole installation of, uh, of setting it up. Okay, this wire here is for the relay. This one here will be going to your light switch. Okay, let's go ahead and loosen up this screw here first.
Okay, now I'm going to go back through and I'm going to check all my screws again, make sure they're nice and tight, but not over tightened. Uh, once you uh, put the screw in, the wire in to begin with, tends to flatten it out a little bit in there and uh, sometimes you come back and uh, tighten it up just a little bit more uh, without stripping it out. So just be careful not to over tighten it. Just make sure they're nice and snug. You don't want any loose connections that could cause any type of arcing. Okay, this is how your Shelly 2.5 should look when you're all finished up. You have your neutral wire here. Uh, this here is your power wire where it'll be connecting at. Uh, that's connected to your line in. And uh, then you have your other wire connections here. So now this here is all ready for your installation. So stay tuned for the next video, and I'll show you how I install these. Um, hopefully you'll subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll keep producing neat little videos that are easy to understand for the average person. Uh, if you use the instructions, lots of people can understand them, but they could be a little intimidating. So. This here hopefully will help some people out. Tune in until next time. Thanks.